y'all, this is Brandy from Southern Crafts DIY, and I want to say hey to all my returning viewers, and a huge welcome to any new viewers. So, if you follow me on social media, which the links are down below, you'll have seen a list of everything needed for today's project. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into it, and I'm going to start telling you what's needed. And But actually, before I do that, I want to give a shout out to a channel, I think the name's Dally Creations, D-A-L-Y Creations. I was watching hers, she does vinyl, and it gave me the idea to do this because I started thinking about other stuff, so I'm going to give a shout out to her channel, so let's get started. Alright, so the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need one of the, well, it could be anything, but I like these, I say it every time I use it, I like these plaques you get, well it's not plaques, they're um, shelves, the little two pack of shelves you get from Dollar Tree. I like these. I think they make great signs. And of course, you can use something else, but I have a Joy Cricut, Cricut Joy, which is what I'm going to be using. And the size is perfect for this size wood. So you're going to need that. You're going to need some spackle. I use my Walmart one. You can get spackle from Dollar Tree. I haven't used it yet. I have some, but I have not used it yet because I'm still using this. Now, I forgot to mention this in the list but you're going to need sandpaper because every time you spackle you need paper sandpaper sorry now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using paper cardstock whatever you want to call it it's a really thin sheet of paper as you can see it's flexible this is Halloween themed I got it from Michaels in a pack of paper so I'm going to use that I'm going to be using my Waverly Chalk Ink Paint, which is black. You can use whatever. Um, a paintbrush, a sponge brush. Sorry. Some Mod Podge. And, of course, my Cricut and the tools that you'll need for it. Alright, let's get started. Alright y'all, so the first thing I did is I added some paper tape to the back of my plaque because I want to make sure I get plenty of spackle on here. I haven't been doing that and I think it's been affecting it. I want to get it plenty in here. I want it to, you won't be able to tell that there was supposed to be a hole there is what I'm attempting to do. So I'm going to get as much in there as I can. I normally just fill the hole and go, but I, I just want to do something different. See if this works. And then we're going to let it dry, and then we will sand it and go from there. Alright, now that it's pretty much dry, because this is a fast acting, I'm going to go ahead, well it is dry, I'm going to go ahead and sand it. And I'm not going to do it on camera because I, I do my sanding over a trash can. Alright, so now that that is done, the next step we're going to do is we're going to paint the wood. And I'm doing ink, which is black. And we're going to get it nice and painted. Now, you don't have to use black. Uh, there are other colors you can use for Halloween. You can even use orange, but the, the paper I'm using has orange and white and black on it. And there's only a little bit of black, so I figured that would be perfect for... Halloween to use the black. I didn't want to do too many, like I had others I could choose from. I didn't want to do like words and stuff because it's going to be small, cut out, and it'd be too busy. 
And I could even have done some designs, which I thought about, but I just really like, I really like the plaid, don't ask me. <laughs> so, we're going to go from there. And once it dries, we will completely paint the whole thing. We won't need another layer because this black seems to cover very well. So we will just move on once it is dry. And I'm painting the whole thing back, sides, front. So it is dry. So now we're going to work on attaching the oh this is strong grip this is the wrong one hold on y'all I'm sorry give me a second all right y'all so the next step is and I don't know how this is gonna work because I've never done the glue and the tape is the Mod Podge and I'm just putting a layer on here to attach the stuff and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to put it down on there as fast as we can Let me get it off. Because we want it to stick. And I don't know if this is going to work out. I've never done this before. This is something I just wanted to try. And see if it would work. And I probably won't be able to use this transfer paper again, tape, but it's fine. I just wanted to do this, and I might have to do it different. Yeah, it's not working. Hold on. All right, y'all, I'm going to try something different, so bear with me. Always remember, if it doesn't work out, just try something else. So... I'm just going to go over this whole space so I know I get everything. I'm not too concerned about it. And then this was the outline of the pumpkin. And I'll put it right in the middle. And then we're going to take the words and put it on there. Hopefully this works. When you when it something fails, you just try a different way. That's what I've learned. So I'm trying a different way. It's all you can do when your original plan fails. So I changed it up a little. I didn't do haunting. I did haunting without the G because I had to make it fit. And now I'm just mod podging over it. Sorry, I forgot I stopped the thing because it took a minute to do the words. Now we're going to let it dry and we'll see how we like it. Anytime it messes up, you just go with the flow and try to do something different. Don't worry too much about whether it's exactly what you had in mind or not. Because a lot of times it comes out, most of the times it comes out better. Alright, so we're just going to let that dry and we'll go from there. 
Alright y'all, because I'm disappointed how it came out, even though technically it looks okay, I'm going to make it the way I wanted it to look, so I'm going to take this big board, because I don't have any more of the small ones, and I'm going to make it and show you what I had in mind when I was thinking this on. Alright y'all, so I finished it, and this was what I wanted it to look like, with the happy haunting and the pumpkin, and it did not come out this way, you know, trial and error. So I did want to show you how I wanted to look because this was in my head and I liked it. And I'm reasonably happy with this version of it. The lettering is a little not straight. Oops. See if y'all can see that. You know, it is what it is. But I am relatively happy with this. And this, the only thing I'm disappointed in is that this is a little off center and I couldn't add the G. If it would have been a different design than the background, I could have put it over it with the G and it would have been fine. But I am also happy with this. It's something different, not what I was thinking. But I like it. I, I think it's cute. And if y'all enjoyed these, this video, please, please, please like, share, subscribe, and comment down below because it does help my channel grow. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye.